Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about configuration browser stack with the WebDriver I.O. Okay, in the previous video session, I explained like how to con uh, how to create a browser stack account and how to upload a APK file in that particular location. And in this session, we are going to be uh, discussing about how to do it for browser stack. Okay, configuration with the WebDriver I.O. Okay, and here there is a like uh, if you go for web driver IO a uh, website and the documentation, the services location, browser stack services presented, and also they provided for some documentation here. Okay, how to configure and all they provided here. Okay, maybe in case if you are not able to understand what exactly this all the things are presented, completely you are not understand, and you need to understand properly, then how means just you can come to here in the dashboard location okay and here the, if you are using for web driver I will click for web driver I will. java means java and python means python php or ruby and based upon your convenient which is the language you want you can able to choose it okay and now we are going to do for web driver I will. I'm just I'm going to click for setup info purpose they are provided for some documentation okay I'm clicking for web driver I will. They will show you some documentations here. They have already some set of uh, files integration. You will whenever you comes right, they will provide you this app with the web driver IO. Okay, this is the section. They have the uh, cloning URL predefined like they have some uh, automation scripting in a GitHub. And if you want to run that particular uh, GitHub code, you can able to clone the tab and you can able to based upon that, you can able to configure and you can able to run it. You don't want that and you want this particular uh, automation script to integrate with your local. Then come to here and little bit down, there is a file. It is says that npm install webdriver IO browser stack service in the save. Copy this particular one, go to your terminal and paste it here and hit the and it will try to save it okay in the package.json also they will provide for some dependency this dependency will store commands it into your place okay if you go for package and if you come to a down uh, there is a browser stack here is 8 is now latest version you can able to see latest version 8 okay and once it is done, okay, comes down and updating your web driver IO config file. You want a configuration file, you need to update it. What you need to update, there is a, a section which is appm colon file name. It will be presented like in Android, we are doing for this all the things, right? Appium uh, colon app, which is a local file. It is storing that, that we are doing, right? That we need to uh, remove. And which is the file we are while we updating the last video session we updated for our file right that we are getting here that also we need to take that copy and we need to paste it and you need to choose for which is the browser you required which browser you want you can able to Google Pixel 7 then choose the Google Pixel 7 and take the value of that okay I use the Google Pixel and all these all the things okay nothing to worry and come down. Okay, they are providing for some extension configurations, which is a build version. If you want some build version, you can provide some sample build version as well. It will take for that as well. Okay, no need to bother about it. And then it will comes to here. Just copy this snippet, comes to here. And here, click on the file. Make it file name is wdio.bs.config dot js this is the name and paste the config file and remove these dots and make it for closing brace okay this is my configuration file it is provided for everything for you with the username password and everything okay and if you want some build version you can able to uh 12.0 is my build version just i'm going to give some versions you can able to provide that version okay and here is your app code which you are used that code right this is the one we need to pass it
you need to pass that one okay and everything is same nothing to worry a sample project and this is a build version and all and it is true and maximum 10 digits everything fine nothing to worry i just you need to change for this particular app that's it okay and then you need to save the file okay once you save the file comes down here and mark it here and this is a file and we can able to choose which one we need to run okay in the specs i'm going to use it for uh which is a chrome code is presented that i will choose it because remaining things it will fail right because the time stamp it will be different version to version options dot chrome and get search this is a chrome related information just i am going to take for class demo if it is fail also it is okay right because we are able to connect or not we need to see okay class demo dot js file just hit this one we need to use my npx wdio run and configuration that is a bs which we created just now config.js file and spec we need to provide the which spec now you can see it is trying to connecting this particular browser stack server okay now we are running browser stack if you come to here you can see here as well it will be loaded see now here one plus nine well also it is loading and seven pixel google pixel 7 13 version also it is loading samsung galaxy s2 also it is loading okay after completion of the execution this is a parallel execution once it is completed the test we can able to see the output also you can able to see the percentage and everything it will be provided here okay all the test cases failed and if you click here it will load for your video as well cannot call the click on element with the selector of chrome this selector is not able to because there may be there is a device issue or something problem on the app side that's why it is not able to click something it is able to connect it for right if you see here there is no chrome app here that's why it is failed okay first case is done and google pixel if you see here as well chrome is presented but it is not able to it is choosing for some api demos to access okay it is checking for this particular app to uh, allowing section that's why it is not able to because we are not set up for a browser right properly that's why it is asking to set up in as well okay and if i'm going to here where is my bs here this is the one uh, i don't want to connect with that particular app just sample app okay now again i'm going to hit it now this is the configuration and running for browser stack you can see here now one more time we are hitting if you refresh now you can see there are again it is started for the execution it is started again execution if you want to run that particular app in this particular uh, mobiles then you need to set up that particular app as well now it is still taking time to execution again it is failed why it is failed maybe that app is still is open because we are executing the apps right if it is still on open then our test case will be failed we are already know right we saw in the local also if your already app is opened if you are trying to hit that particular app see wordpress it is started actually something it is overlapped that's why it is not able to uh, check that particular assertion and all 
it is failed because of that particular things okay no need to bother about it at least we are able to connect with the browser stack okay this is all about for configuration with the browser stack and web driver io and also execution about that browser stack okay i hope it this information for help you for to learn for server side thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you